We're here at the Disaster Expo. It's actually the last day. And it's too bad because I wish I would have seen him uh, on the 5th of, uh, of, for the Disaster Expo. And um, again, we're here with uh, Eric Larson and he's in sales. And he's going to share a little bit about uh, the uh, how internet and as he said power mm -hmm. and, and uh, deterrence and one more thing. So power generation, active deterrence, network, you know, and Warp Energy International has a myriad of solutions. Whether you have mobile security trailers or skid solutions or light bulb power mounted solutions, right? We're gonna find out where where you live in and where you're gonna put the tower, where you need security or surveillance, figure out your zone, figure out what you're gonna put at the top of the pole as far as deterrence, cameras, detection, license plate reading, facial recognition, gunshot detection. Once we figure out your power output and where you live, we outfit you with a solar-based solution or a light bulb power-based solution that will watch over, provide safety, deterrence, protect assets, staff, all those things. And then I was explaining the kind of the power difference because you can go all the way up to 1600 watts at a four panel on this, four 400 watt panels on this. Right. And how much did you say something like this would cost somebody, uh, uh, you know, it re is it retail? Retail, not wholesale. We just want retail right now. Retail is about 30K. Okay, 30k. Okay, yeah. and um, and if so, if, and if, and um, does this have like, is it like a, uh, like if there was no power for whatever reason, would they, would it just generate on its own with mm -hmm. a generator or, or I don't know, or like basically so just it's going to generate talk? power from the sun coming through the solar panels, oh, okay. to feed through the inverter and power up the batteries. And the ba battery inverts so you have constant available power. Oh, okay. And then as it dips down, it continues to fill up with sunlight. And how long, how many days will that be or how many hours that, you know, that this particular unit um, is able to do that? That's why we figure it out. It runs 24-7, 365. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Based on where you're at and how much power you need to draw, this determines what you need to operate 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Yeah. But if you have no sunlight, you know, you can operate for a couple weeks. Okay. Wow. Nice. Very nice. But that's I all dependent on the availability how many batteries you have in here uh -huh. and what type they are. There's a difference between lead acid and lithium ion batteries. And the more batteries obviously you put in here, the uh -huh. longer it's going to continue to power. Oh, that's very nice. Yeah. Very, very nice. What about this right here, this unit here? So this is a skid option. Not only is it less expensive, but I would say when you have wheels on it, it's easy to install. Sometimes uh -huh. it's easy to uninstall, especially if you don't own it. <laughs> So we have a skid option that you can put in with a forklift and drop it off and it's just it's harder to get it off the site oh, okay. if you don't want it to get off the site. And then here, take a look. And what is this? This is the power bunker. Okay. The whole bottom half is basically a big huge battery so this thing can run for a very long time. And then the cradle point takes multiple SIM cards so you have high speed broadband brought in here connect it up to the region system and it broadcasts out a wireless network for the entire campus. And, and, and basically, and, and again, how long is that stay going to be up to? Mm -hmm. How long is that stay going to be up to you know, for this particular unit? It's the same as that. Oh, the same, the same Based amount? Based on the amount of solar they put in because that's how much sunlight can be converted into electricity oh, okay. and how much battery you're putting in there so that you, how long of consistent power can you store. So you can fill this whole bottom bay up with multiple racks of batteries. So you have basically, you can do like a month. Oh, okay. You have and the right battery system. So be, and basically on this end, you know, how long does it take? And, um, you know, like, like as far as, since this if it's the same thing, it would uh, it would basically about almost like, you said like one week, right? That it could actually last, is that what you're saying? Depending on it. So, if you have one or two batteries, uh -huh. it's going to take, you know, one or two days one or a week, right? right. But you can add up a whole power wall uh -huh. in there, so it'll power much longer. Oh, okay. And then the solar will just continuously feed it. Okay. Right, to keep it charged up. Very nice. And what's the warranty issue as far as, you know, is it like uh, how many years or, or, mm -hmm. or months? Our standard battery that we put in there is a 2,500 life cycle, 2,500 recharge life cycle. It's about seven to ten years. Oh wow, that's a very long amount of years. Wow, yeah. you know that's pretty impressive. They don't have to pay any deductible or anything like that, right? It's just no. pretty much uh, you guys go ahead and get, go ahead and go in and get.
get it repaired, right? Right. And you indicated actually that this can be utilized anywhere in the world. Is that what you're saying? Right. And that is particularly when we're talking about disasters, right? Uh -huh. Right. You have a lot of weather or earthquake events. Uh -huh. The network has been knocked down on the terrestrial level, like the power lines and the and the DSL lines. Everything's been knocked offline. So how do you get internet in from either the satellite or from the cellular towers to the site and broadcast it out? How do you generate the power on the site where there is no existing power and make it available for people to use? Well, you know, thank you so much for sharing this. Yeah. And and can you give us a, a, a place of location of, or, or the or the you know the place where you can actually purchase this if they are interested in this. Okay. I mean, which is really wonderful. I am interested in it. I just want you to know that I think sure. it's really exciting. And you know, because I mean, I'm planning to actually. Uh, I have a a, a a condo in the in the Philippines, right. and um, you know, and uh, actually I work with the uh, the richest man there, uh, wow. uh, Manny Manny Villar. He's a nine billion dollar man. Really? And so yeah, and he actually basically owns all of all of the areas there and he's in construction so yeah. this is actually perfect because you know they're, they're going to be right? yeah do, because basically they can use utilize this in all the units and uh condo units uh yeah. uh single family homes uh you know it, it's perfect well, uh, if you want to purchase or potentially lease uh -huh. warp energy uh-huh v-o-r-p energy.com okay and um and is there any telephone number that they can reach um uh, yeah, the company as well? 208-904-0424. Wonderful. And you know what? And you know, if you could just kind of let them know that Eric Larson from the Disaster Expo actually uh, conveyed this message so that, uh, you know, basically, you know, it, it took him some time and effort to actually know a little, a little bit more about this product than I would know. And, you know, and it's really wonderful. And you really thank you so much, uh, okay. uh, Eric, you know, for sharing this with the, uh, the general public, especially the, uh, international wise as well as nationwide. Uh, you know, because I'm, like I said, you know, I think it's really wonderful that you're sharing a little bit about this. Thank you so much, Eric. We appreciate much. everything.